Hello friends, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in again. Today we're doing some fajitas. I have some skirt steak, so uh, I'm gonna start with the marinade. I have some oranges, limes, garlic, molasses, and some soy sauce. Split in half. So the oranges and limes will give some acidity how you tenderize the the meat but you don't want to leave it in the in a marinade for long hours because this acid will cook the meat and make it it will become all mushy you don't want that between one to four hours should be enough We got some molasses here. Soy sauce. That's good. Cilantro. And now we're gonna do the garlic. Fresh pepper. All right. Wow, excellent, marinade done. Now onto the meat. So I have some skirt steak here. I'll probably cut in two pieces. I'm not gonna bother, do crazy trim here. Just a little bit of this. This excess fat here we can get rid of. It's just gonna flare up on the grill. Good. Now we're gonna mix all of this. Like I said, you don't need to uh, marinate this overnight or nothing like that. Three, four hours should be plenty. Now we're gonna wrap this and leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours. All right, this is good. Let's do these peppers. Now let's do some onions. Got some yellow onions for that. Cut the ends. Half. This is it for our prep. We got onions, peppers, meat, and uh, start grilling. Welcome back. Today we're using a pique. All right, this like this starters. Charcoal ready. I'm gonna do the peppers first since they take longer than steak. I'm gonna start with beef tallow. Why not? More beef flavor. Let's do this. Come on with some salt. Uh, 
Pepper. I'm going in with some taco seasoning, homemade. Cumin chili powder. Paprika. Onion powder, garlic powder. Oh, that smells perfect, man. Let this cook down a little bit. I like to, to leave a little crunch on these veggies. I don't want them cooking down all the way. See, this is a nice texture right here. You try one. Oh yeah, a little bit more. Actually, leave this. Cook a little bit more. The moving. Go right here. Check out. Yep, nice crust right here. Nice. Nice crust on this one. Just keep slipping them until. Oh wow, look at that. We're gonna let this cook on this side for a little bit, okay? We'll be right back. I think these are done. We're gonna get them out of the grill. Steak is ready, rested for a few minutes. We're gonna cut into this piece right here. You have to cut against the grain, so it will be easy to eat. So we'll go one big one, stack them up, and then go like this. Oh wow, look at that, beautiful. A nice medium. The middle is medium rare, the edges, good medium a little bit of everything look at that that's beautiful right here medium rare let me put some salt on these some finishing salt before we dig in I use modern salt perfect for finishing protein very flaky all right let me try this one right here oh wow man Good steak is very underrated, man. A lot of people, myself included, like ribeye, but uh, this is up there with ribeye too. If it's cooked right, this is good. I like my tacos with a little bit of sour cream. Some of the veggies we cooked earlier, onions, peppers. And now we're gonna dress with some meat. This is a perfect taco right here. There you go. Perfect. 
Let me try this. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. I love it. Perfect bite. The crunch from the peppers, onions. Steak is very tender. Tortilla is excellent too. I get my tortillas from a, a local baker right here. Fresh every day. Wow. Very good. Happy with this cook, man. Again, thank you for tuning in. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, share this video. It would help a lot. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay? Thank you. Bye bye.